we're looking at The Bay on my 31 spooky movies of Halloween. My selection for October 1st is this nifty found footage movie that a friend introduced me to the other day. It's about a bay in Maryland that becomes infested by something bad. And this thing starts eating the residents from the inside out, which is bad. If you don't like found footage movies, you will probably not like this movie either because it does suffer from many of the same failings of found footage movies. Namely, bad dialogue and any excuse possible for a character to hold on to a camera. And all I can say is, thank God for white people doing stupid things in horror movies. Personally, I did not find this movie very scary, but I did find it disturbing. Mostly because this was an apocalyptic event that seemed very grounded and realistic. Add to that some very impressive and disgusting makeup effects, I believe The Bay should be on your list of 31 spooky movies of Halloween. This is One Dark Night, one of my 31 spooky movies of Halloween. It's October 2nd, and here's an obscure zombie movie for you. But is it really a zombie movie? Let's examine. One Dark Night tells the tale of a college girl trying to pledge a sorority by sleeping one night in a mausoleum. In that mausoleum is a recently buried psychic serial killer. And the body of this psychic serial killer is not quite dead as it uses its mind power to raise the dead to come after the girls. Now this movie is not a masterpiece but it does have a lot of things going for it. For example, in this movie, the dead are not the aggressors. The dead are seen as the victims. They move as if suspended by puppet strings, and it's really quite sad. There's also a character that runs around with a toothbrush in her mouth during the entire movie, and it's unintentionally hilarious. And Adam West is in it. A fun yet schlocky addition to my 31 spooky movies of Halloween. Hello kids, we're looking at Night of the Creeps on my 31 spooky movies of Halloween. For October 3rd, I have chosen this clever spin on the zombie movie that combines zombie action with outer space hijinks. What I like about this movie is that it knows exactly what it is. It is an homage to the 1960s exploitive schlock movie, and it embraces that from its opening black and white sequence to the amazing creature effects. I feel that this movie gives us something original with zombies, and some great lines. Ladies, the good news is your boyfriends are here. The bad news is, they're dead. What's more and more important is that this movie is populated by characters you care about, and actors who actually know how to act. It is not a perfect movie, it does have some problems, but it is overlooked, and I do think it needs some more respect. So put it on your list of 31 spooky movies for Halloween. We are looking at Moontrap on my 31 spooky movies of Halloween. And I know what you're thinking, Jay, this looks stupid and corny. I can assure you that this movie is indeed stupid and corny. This movie tells the story of an alien robot race found on the moon that requires human parts to function. And so they gonna harvest human parts. In a way, this is kind of like The Borg, which is ironic considering that this movie stars Star Trek's Walter Koenig. And that was Bruce Campbell. Yes, there was a time whenever Bruce Campbell was second billing to Walter Koenig. And yes, this movie is phenomenally dumb, but it's schlocky, and it's got a great gimmick, and I love the robot effects, and there's a couple of times whenever there's some truly disturbing things you see on the screen. And it's Walter Koenig. Who doesn't love Walter Koenig? Killer Robots on the Moon! Make it one of your 31 spooky movies of Halloween. It's Lake Mungo on my 31 spooky movies of Halloween. It's October 5th, and so I have chosen this very interesting mockumentary about a haunted house. When a family tragically loses their daughter to an accident, they start seeing strange things and start documenting it on camera. And nothing that goes on in this house is quite what it appears. I would not exactly call Lake Mungo scary. It's definitely unsettling and honestly a little sad. But what I liked most about this movie is you never really knew where the story was going to go next. And to be honest, it's quite a captivating drama. And if you hate the found footage style of filmmaking, 
maybe you'll find the mockumentary a bit more palatable. And it does have a heck of an unsettling ending. Lake Mungo, a prestigious addition to the 31 spooky movies of Halloween. It is October 6th and we're talking about Cat's Eye on my 31 spooky movies of Halloween. Cat's Eye is not a scary movie. I'm just going to admit straight up, Cat's Eye is really not that scary. If anything, it's kind of a goofy horror movie more than anything else. But the thing that wins me over about this movie is its very dark sense of humor and the fact that it's an anthology which kind of puts it in the same vein as Creepshow, which is one of my favorite movies of all time. The segments all have this great dark sense of humor. The first one is about James Woods trying to quit smoking and this company keeps threatening his family if he doesn't. The next one stars Robert Hayes who's being tortured by a tycoon in a very creative way, I might add. And the third stars Drew Barrymore and the titular cat. Although not explicitly scary, Cat's Eye does carry the spirit of the holiday with it, and therefore I recommend you make it one of your 31 spooky movies of Halloween. It's Return to Oz on my 31 spooky movies of Halloween. This movie isn't scary. What is this doing on this list? You've never seen this movie if you don't think it's scary. Return to Oz is, without a doubt, one of the scariest movies ever made. You have those Wheeler things. You have a headless mombi coming after Dorothy Gale. You have the unexpectedly gruesome death of the Gnome King. And you say it doesn't belong on a list of 31 Halloween movies? You literally have a guy named Jack Pumpkinhead. This is an utterly terrifying motion picture experience. It may have been made for kids, but it will make you produce a yellow brick road in your pants. And that is why I consider Return to Oz one of the 31 spooky movies of Halloween. We are looking at Digging Up the Marrow on my 31 spooky movies of Halloween. It is October 8th, and I give you the question, are monsters real? Well, in this found footage mockumentary, that is the question that is also posed to the audience. Director Adam Green plays himself as Adam Green, approached by a man who says that he has found the entrance to a world full of monsters. They follow this guy around with cameras to see if he's right, and the movie weaves this way and that, asking the question, is he crazy? Is it real? Now, digging up the marrow takes a long time to get where it should have been about 30 minutes into this film, but I will say I enjoyed the meta quality of it. And not to put too big of a spoiler on it, the creature effects in this movie are pretty goofy and pretty fun. For what it is and for what it was attempting to be, I think that digging up the marrow is a perfect choice for your 31 spooky movies of Halloween. This is The Innkeepers on my 31 spooky movies of Halloween. This movie does not exactly reinvent the wheel, but there's something to be said about a traditional throwback in today's modern age of movie making. And The Innkeepers is traditional. It's just a good traditional haunted house movie. To my knowledge, there's absolutely no CGI in it. There's no jump scares. It just relies on your own imagination and just good old-fashioned storytelling. Is it a perfect movie? Absolutely not. But for what it is, it's great. And I will also say that The Innkeepers does keep you guessing. Because at one point you may think that the titular character is hallucinating, at certain points you also think that maybe the entire place is possessed by Satan. Innkeepers is just a good old-fashioned romp, and I respect that, and that is why it is one of my 31 spooky movies of Halloween. We're looking at Dog Soldiers on my 31 spooky movies of Halloween. It is October 10th, and you know this movie used to be talked about everywhere. Now nobody ever talks about it. I want to change that because this movie is genuinely amazing. I'm a big fan of werewolf stories, and it just seems like nobody tells a good werewolf story whenever it comes to movies. Dog Soldiers is a heck of a werewolf story. And beyond that, 
It's a heck of an actioneer. It's a heck of a comedy. It's a heck of an everything. Dog Soldiers has got something for everyone. It is exciting. It is funny. It is terrifying. It is infinitely quotable. It could very well be one of the greatest, if not the greatest, werewolf movie ever made. If the idea of rough-and-tumble British soldiers fighting bare-knuckled with werewolves appeals to you, then you should make Dog Soldiers one of your 31 spooky movies of Halloween. It is Tales of Halloween on my 13 spooky movies of Halloween. This was a surprise. I had no idea this movie even existed until today. For October 11th, I have chosen this anthology film that I just happened to stumble across. I love anthology movies. Creepshow, Trick or Treat, and yes, even Tales of Halloween. Now, while I would not put this movie in the same category as those other two films, as they are far superior, Tales of Halloween is fun. It tells 10 small tales, and if you don't like the tale that's going on, just wait a couple of minutes and a new one's popping up. None of them are particularly scary, but all of them do have a wit and a wicked sense of humor. Now, if you can overlook a little bit of cheapness, a few tiny flaws, and maybe one or two lame segments, I think that you will see that this little anthology throwback is the perfect addition to your 31 spooky movies of Halloween. We're looking at Dead Space Downfall on my 31 spooky movies of Halloween. Why does America not do animated horror? It just seems like to me the possibilities for animated horror would be amazing. Look at that segment on Heavy Metal where all the dead pilots came back as zombies. Look at the truly grody parts of the Black Cauldron. Look at Castlevania! America should be producing more animated horror. Dead Space Downfall based on a video game that had two installments and no more than that, is good. Sure, the animation's a little janky, the vocal performances aren't that great, and the atmosphere was just off. Things were too bright, it should have been darker. But I think that if anything, Dead Space Downfall shows that there is unlimited, untapped potential in animated horror. And it's pretty darn freaky. Freaky enough to make your list of 31 spooky movies of Halloween. We are looking at Feast on my 31 spooky movies of Halloween. How best to describe Feast? Feast is the kind of movie that other movies are afraid of. It is a movie that is escaping from a straitjacket, holding a chainsaw while blindfolded, and swinging wildly at where it hears the screams coming from. That the kind of movie that Feast be. This movie is unhinged horror goodness, and I mean that in the very best way. This is the kind of horror movie where all bets are off, literally. And it's self-aware without being annoying. I love this movie. I was screaming in terror and laughter. And that is why Feast should be on your list of 31 movies of Halloween. We're looking at Slumber Party Massacre on my 31 spooky movies of Halloween. You gotta throw in a slasher movie when you do one of these things. And I really did not want to do Jason or Michael Myers. So why not this movie? In case you didn't know, Slumber Party Massacre was originally envisioned as a comedy. And then the studio heads got a hold of it and tried to make it more serious. <laughs> and they failed miserably. Because this is one of the funniest movies I've seen in a long time. You have all the tropes of the 1980s, of course. You have scantily clad women and men of towering libido. But so much of this movie is just unabashedly goofy. And the fact that we don't recognize this as some kind of brilliant horror comedy is really a tragedy. So let's give Slumber Party Massacre the recognition it deserves by making it one of your 31 spooky movies of Halloween. We're talking about grabbers on my 31 spooky movies of Halloween. 
You will never see a movie more Irish than Grabbers. Because not only is it about a bunch of grabby, squiddy things from the ocean that will kill and eat you, it's also about how drinking saves the day. And I have to admit, for a movie that has basically one joke, it's pretty clever. Kind of reminds me of an Irish version of The Faculty, and if you've seen that movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Grabbers is an unabashed horror comedy that's here to make you laugh more than make you scream. Although you probably will be screaming with laughter. I saw this movie a couple of years ago and re-experienced it for this list, and I'm so glad I did. It is so much fun. And the creature effects, they're really good. And so, Lottie, you should make Grabbers one of your 31 spooky movies of Halloween. We're checking out Curse of the Blair Witch on my 31 spooky movies of Halloween. What if I told you that there's a Blair Witch movie you might not know about? And that it is arguably the best Blair Witch movie. I'm referring to Curse of the Blair Witch. This was a special that aired on the Sci-Fi Channel back when it was still the Sci-Fi Channel. This was a mockumentary that was used to market the original film. The thing is, this mockumentary is in some ways scarier than the original movie. It fills in some very creepy backstory that you honestly need to know to appreciate the first movie. And it brings a human element to the disappearance of these three kids. You get to see the family's reaction in the aftermath of losing them. Curse of the Blair Witch is available online in some places for free, if you know where to look. And I think you should make it one of your 31 spooky movies of Halloween. This is Terrifier on my 31 spooky movies of Halloween. 80s slasher movies were simply the best. They had very little plot. It was just a bunch of people running away from a very scary person with very scary sharp things in their hands. Terrifier takes everything great about the old 80s slasher movies and just simply recreates it. It has a very menacing villain, it's got truly gory special effects, and there's no unnecessary drama. But the truly disturbing thing about Terrifier is that there's no motivation. All this killer clown from inner space wants to do is kill you, and that's it. And I like that relatively simple approach, even though, I will admit, I didn't necessarily care for this movie very much because to me it was simply too mean-spirited. However, it was effective at what it did, and so I think maybe you should give this one a try and make it one of your 31 spooky movies of Halloween. We're checking out student bodies on my 31 spooky movies of Halloween. Student Bodies was ahead of its time. In many ways, it was Scary Movie long before there was a Scary Movie. Now, whenever it came to satire and parody of slasher movies, you can argue that Student Bodies was the very first. That being said, although this movie can be funny at times, it's not perfect, not by a long shot. As a matter of fact, the movie starts incredibly strong, incredibly funny, and then, like a decaying corpse, just kind of gets more and more unpleasant as it goes along. But that being said, the ride while it's good is worth riding. And whenever it comes to poking fun at the horror movies of the day, Student Bodies is merciless. And even though it starts incredibly strong and ends incredibly lame, it's very quotable too. And this and many other reasons is why I think you should make Student Bodies one of your 31 spooky movies of Halloween. This is Hell House LLC on our 31 spooky movies of Halloween. I know a lot of you don't like found footage horror movies, but I don't care. Hell House LLC is one of a kind. It is a found footage horror movie that not only takes advantage of the genre, but it builds on it. And how creative is it to make a haunted house movie about people creating a haunted house and a house that happens to be haunted? Oh no, I've gone cross-eyed. Hell House LLC is spooky. It is creepy. It's altogether oogie. Out of all of the found footage horror movies, this one's definitely one of the most inventive. 
and it just sends chills up your spine. And for that reason, I believe you should make Hell House LLC one of your 31 spooky movies of Halloween. It's Cabin Fever on my 31 spooky movies of Halloween. Woo! This is a divisive movie and I'm all here for it. Incidentally, we're talking about the 2002 version and not the 2016 version because the 2016 version... <sighs> Cabin Fever is a movie about a bunch of teens who go out into the woods and get infected with a flesh-eating bacteria. You know, a family picture. Hilarity and hijinks ensue and they all die one by one. What I like about this movie, well, in addition to the darkest pitch and quirky humor, is that it is a genuine morality tale. Because if at any point in this movie, any one of these selfish little buttholes had done the right thing, they would have been fine. And it seems like this movie used to be on everybody's radar, whether they loved it or they hated it, and now nobody talks about it. And we should be talking about it, because Cabin Fever should be one of your 31 spooky movies of Halloween. It's Monster Squad on my 31 spooky movies of Halloween. I honestly do not understand why Monster Squad is not held in a higher regard than what it is, because this movie should be a classic, not a cult classic. This should be up there with the Goonies. It is just that good. It is a delightful mixture of the Little Rascals meeting Universal Monsters. You know, copyright-free versions, at least. I just adore this movie. I adore the actors, I adore the music, I adore the themes, I adore Frank. Frank. It is scary when it needs to be, and it's funny when it wants to be. How many of us knew that Wolfman had nards before this movie? And most of all, it's got an ending that will rip your heart out and stomp on it. Monster Squad should be a classic, and I will preach its good word until it is. And that's why I think it should be one of your 31 spooky movies of Halloween. We're looking at Hatchet on my 31 spooky movies of Halloween. So as you know, I reviewed Terrifier the other day, and I said that it had a really cool villain, but I didn't really care for it because it was a bit too mean. By mean, I meant that it focused too much on human suffering and not enough on the fun of a slasher movie. And then I thought about Hatchet and how it did basically the same thing, but got it right. Because Hatchet knows it's a comedy. Heck, I would basically say that Hatchet is as close to an animated slasher movie as we're ever gonna get. But I think where the true humor comes from is that not all of the characters know what the movie is. Some of them pretty much know that they're in a horror comedy, while others are completely oblivious to that fact. If anything is a throwback to the glory gory days of the 1980 slasher movies, it's definitely Hatchet. You've got a shoestring budget, you've got a great deformed killer, you have gnarly practical gore effects, and that's why I think you should make Hatchet one of your 31 spooky movies of Halloween. Today we're looking at Splinter on my 31 spooky movies of Halloween. Splinter. One half Night of the Living Dead, one half Invasion of the Body Snatchers, and one half The Ruins. I know that's 150%, but this movie is extra. This is about a newlywed couple who end up in a hostage situation and then find themselves in the middle of some kind of fungus outbreak. And I promise it's a lot more exciting than I just made it sound. Watching it makes you itch. I mean genuinely itch. But it's also one of those movies where the protagonists are up against a force. Not necessarily a bad guy, not necessarily a killer. Heck, at one point they even say, it's not good, it's not bad, it's nothing personal, it's just trying to survive. And all told, Splinter tells a very entertaining and very engrossing story by being uncomplicated. And that's why I think Splinter should be one of your 31 spooky movies of Halloween. This is Grave Encounters on my 31 spooky movies of Halloween, and yes, it is another found footage movie. But this one is really good. I would actually argue that Grave Encounters is probably one of the best found footage horror movies of all time. And it seems like nobody ever talks about it. But I will tell you what makes this movie work, and that is the entire premise makes sense. 
giving this ghost story to a crew of people who are actually there to document ghosts justifies the reason why they keep filming everything. I mean, how many of us haven't screamed at one point or another, put down the camera and run? Now, sure, there's a couple of cringy scares. I'm sure we're all thinking of the same one. But overall, Grave Encounters is an incredibly effective horror movie, and it should be one of your 31 spooky movies of Halloween. Today, we're looking at extraordinary tales on my 31 spooky movies of Halloween. Do you remember my lament the other day whenever I said that I wish there was more animated horror? Well, look what I found! It's animated horror! And not only that, it's classy animated horror because this is animated horror that revolves around Edgar Allan Poe. This is an anthology. It brings forth such talents as Christopher Lee, Guillermo del Toro, and even Bela Lugosi returns from the dead to voice one of these stories. The animation is stylized and memorable, and it's all bookended by a crow speaking to a statue. And I promise that makes a lot more sense if you've seen this movie. Now, I fully recommend that Extraordinary Tales will not be for everybody, but as a fan of Edgar Allan Poe, I fully recommend that you make this one of your 31 spooky movies of Halloween. We're checking out the gate on my 31 spooky movies of Halloween. My goodness, I just love this movie. Memories of my childhood are riddled with the fear that I got from watching The Gate. This is the story of a bunch of kids who basically accidentally open up a gate to hell, as kids are wont to do. This movie is full of magnificent creature effects, amazing 80s special effects, and an actual fear that none of these kids are safe. Because they ain't. And if that's not enough, look at the little baby Stephen Dorff! The Gate, despite the fact that it deals with some demonic themes, is surprisingly kid-friendly. I don't mean that this is a movie you're going to want to throw on to babysit your kids for you, but if you want to introduce your kids to horror, this might be a good place to start. And that's why I believe The Gate should be one of your 31 spooky movies of Halloween. It's House on my 31 spooky movies of Halloween, and oh my goodness, this movie is both terrifying and hysterical. House tells the story of an author who comes back to his aunt's house after his son disappears, and then weird stuff starts happening, as they often do in haunted houses. The whole situation is both horrifying and absurd, and for some reason, it works. House is another one of those movies that was a staple of my childhood, and I remember watching it, laughing, covering my eyes. Big Ben genuinely scarred me. House is one of those movies that should not work, and yet it does. And therefore, I demand you make it one of your 31 spooky movies of Halloween. It's Idle Hands on my 31 spooky movies of Halloween. This movie may not be seen as a classic by people who suck. Personally, I think Idle Hands is a riot. It's got an amazing sense of humor, it's kind of gory, it's a little scary, and it just doesn't care. But even if you don't think that this is a fun movie, can you at least acknowledge that Devin Sawa was amazing in this movie, being led around by his evil hand as though it actually was in control? The things that this kid did with his body was amazing and hilarious. Not to mention, this movie is full of people who should have made it, but for some reason didn't. You got Devin Sawa, you got Jack Noseworthy, you got Eldon Henson, and on top of that, you got Seth Green and Sean Whalen. Oh, and Jessica Alba. Idle Hands is a great movie, and if you don't believe me, you have no business being here on this 31 Spooky Movies of Halloween. It's Dead Time Stories on my 31 spooky movies of Halloween. Just because I put a movie on this list does not necessarily mean it's a good movie. I actually think Dead Time Stories is bad. But it's 
bad in a fascinating way that I think needs further study. With dead time stories, we have fairy tales recontextualized as horror shorts. You have Little Red Riding Hood reimagined as a girl versus a werewolf. You have Goldilocks and the Three Bears reimagined as four serial killers hanging out. It's honestly fascinating that they set out to make a horror movie that was kid-friendly and then went out of their way to insert TNA into it. Because seriously, without the unnecessary nudity, Dead Time Stories would have been a kid's film. It may not be good, but it's fascinating. And that's why I think Dead Time Stories should be one of your 31 spooky movies of Halloween. This is Pontypool on my 31 spooky movies of Halloween. Pontypool is so neat. It is a movie that does so much with so little. This film has one location and just a handful of actors, and yet it delivers a movie that is so taut and so suspenseful that it is worthy of a research paper. It's not quite a zombie movie. It's more like an outbreak movie, but it is a movie that is done so well because the audience is just in the dark as the characters are. All we get are small, cryptic tidbits of information from the outside delivered through Stephen McHattie's hauntingly spooky radio voice. Now, this movie will not be for everyone. It does not have any big set pieces. It's all just psychological tension in one location. But I can tell you right now, it is done extremely well. And that is why Pontypool should be on your 31 spooky movies of Halloween. It's Return of the Living Dead, closing out my 31 spooky movies of Halloween. Happy Halloween. This movie is art. It is this fabulous and funny time capsule of the cheesiest of the 1980s gathered into one glorious, hilarious, disgusting package. This is one of those movies where you know all the characters' names because you care about them, even if they're not really that great of people. And oh my goodness, the zombies in this movie are amazing. Tar Man is the best zombie ever made, period, exclamation mark. Return of the Living Dead. It is funny when it wants to be funny, and it's scary when it wants to be scary. And that is why Return of the Living Dead should be on your list of 31 spooky movies of Halloween. Happy Halloween, everyone!